So it's 9.30 and we're starting to get a wind off the shore. Uh, it's just six knots right now, but it's building. It was five knots the last time I looked. So we've got the white sails up right now, but uh, very soon I think I'm going to put the um, momentum asymmetric spinnaker up and see if we can milk this for all it's worth for the next several hours. Um, well, to be honest, this will only last maybe two hours and then it's going to change like yesterday and come from that direction. So I might, meh, I can easily, well I can't easily tack the momentum in very light airs. It's easier to, to tack it when you've got 10 knots of breeze than when you've got virtually nothing because it just flops and flips and flaps. So we'll see. I'm just chilling. I've done all my housework this morning. Refilled the fuel tank. I left with the tank only one quarter full. I was going to go to the fuel pontoon and then I thought, ah, sod it. I got 40 litres of diesel on board already plus what's in the tank, that's probably about 10 litres. And uh, I'll just restrict myself to that, so that's what I'm doing. I've only run the engine for an hour and a half total so far. Um, and I've now got 30 litres in the tank, about two litres in one jerry can. Why does it matter with whether it's in a jerry can or not? And 20 litres in another jerry. i got about 52 liters of fuel on board okay this is future dave i'm just watching the videos as i uh as i um edit them and clearly if i started with 50 liters and i've run the engine for an hour and a half i don't now have 52 liters on board that will be quite something back to the show um and that's more than enough to be honest i'm only going to use it to charge the battery when i need to um yeah, I've, I'm trying a new policy today because uh, yesterday the fridge took too much power. But I was thinking too long term, um, trying to keep everything in there frozen. And I've now decided actually, because this morning I had bacon sandwich, but the bacon was frozen. So what I've decided now is to put it on to like zero, which means that it's not running at all at the moment. And it'll run a little bit later today and let everything that's frozen in there gently thaw over the next couple of days as I eat it. Like today I'm going to have burgers and I've already had to take them out of the freezer, freeze box, cool box, whatever it is. I'm rambling on again. There. You don't care about my power management. Look, there's the view. Spain. Uh, I just read on the map where we are, but I can't remember the name. I'm, I'm telling you, I'm getting old and stupid. I even put a little cross on the map downstairs, so I'll, I'll just poke you inside. You can have a look at the map and work out where we are. We're right there, which is near there. chart there, also on the iPad down there. There you go. We all know where we are now. So, 11 o'clock and as predicted, the uh, onshore breeze has already started enough for me to hoist that baby. I've adjusted the, the what do you call it, the sock up the top because previously it was trapping a little bit of the sail, but now it's too long. So I'm gonna have to do that again. How much do you think that is? Six inches? <laughs> That's what she said. <laughs> I have no idea from this distance, but there's a there's a black mark on the rope and I need to be just a bit longer than the black mark on the rope. I think that's from the previous knot. Okay, we'll do that when we take it down eventually. But um, 
I think what we're going to do today is a little bit of um, the, what the what do those sailors call it? Cutting the pie. Although I'm not really cutting the pie on uh, on a low pressure system or even a high pressure system, but I'm going to um, this morning and early afternoon. I'm going to be on this tack heading away from shore. Um, <laughs> ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. So this morning and early afternoon, I'll be on this tack, heading away from shore. Um, I'm uh, on the on the best angle I can sail with this sail to get the best VMG. And then um, it's not really VM; it's VMG to the waypoint rather than VMG to the wind. Um, and then sometime in the evening. Because this wind is supposed to tonight, rather than just disappearing as it as it normally does, it's supposed to possibly um, veer a little bit to the south. And if that's the case, then I'll whack over onto the opposite tack and head kind of due north-ish, or as close to that as I can get towards. Well, kind of to not really Barcelona yet, but uh, to back towards the coast. Uh, again, sailing at best angle to the to the wind downwind with the sail um, until it, the until the wind dies completely, which it will do about I guess eight nine ten o'clock. I don't know. We're gonna do the same tonight as we did last night, which is basically just chillax. Anyway, rambling's over. I'm missing the podcast. Should get back. Uh, so we're um, I think I measured it it's six and a half miles offshore but we've still got pl plenty of phone signal at six and a half miles offshore but that's going to extend now so I'm going to lose my phone signal quite soon so uh, I've done all my text messaging got the wind a bit of Facebook blah 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 and downloaded a couple of podcasts for me to listen to today whilst we sail away from Zealand and away from the fish farms and the anchorages for the big tankers and the, the refueling Odas boy thing so away from trouble into oblivion <laughs> see you later and now we're flying bang on towards my current waypoint I mean, we were reading the story. 5.2 knots in, 11 knots of wind. With the assy flying, just curling the leading edge. 